Blog Talk Radio. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, indeed. It is certainly the rhythm and the praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And welcome to Fire, the gospel experience that is dedicated to honoring the true and only living creator, God. Now is the time, beloved, to let your mind, body, and soul be refreshed in our relationship with our creator, God and his precious, beautiful son, our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Don't you know that right here on fire, the gospel experience, Jesus Christ is unashamedly declared to be the only true Savior and the Son of God. Thank you for joining me for another fire gospel experience. I'm your purpose and power driven host, Ron E. Jefferson, here to bring you the most uplifting spiritual motivations and the most anointed gospel music ever made. Fire is the broadcast that will light, ignite, and fan the flame in your spirit to make you the victorious believer in Christ Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen goes right there. Don't you know you need to be working in nothing but pure victory. I'm not talking about the times when things get tough. When we are trying, when we go through our circumstances in life, but I'm talking about going through them bad boys, knowing that in the end, God will raise you up. He will make you wiser, stronger, and better, just because you went through it in some life. We're going to be embracing Exodus 10, 29, verse 29 today. So we read about Almighty God telling Moses to stretch out his hand as when Moses did for was to keep darkness over the entire land of Egypt. This was such a presence of darkness that it could be felt. Our God of light controls even the most audacious darkness. Hallelujah. We can talk about how we living in the darknesses that we're living in can still maintain that beautiful light that God is in us. That God took in us that God has required us to take a bold stand in this world. And we ain't saved and we ain't afraid. My special guests are going to be here uh, for Word Up. I'm going to play the very best in gospel anointed music for you so that you can go ahead and get into your own personal Praise and worship as you honor God in your Christian life. And we are going to praise God. We're going to lift him up. We are going to go ahead and celebrate the goodness of our God right here on fire, the gospel experience. So listen, you still have time right now. If you get up on the phone, text your friends, text your family members, text maybe even some of them. Oh, 
coworkers that's going through some things and let them know that Ron E. Jefferson he is back on the airways to honor God and to just encourage each and every one of you. I've already had prayer. Holy Spirit, God, thank you for your presence on this broadcast and on this ministry. Have your way as he lights the fuse that's going to set the internet and the radio anyways on Holy Ghost Sanctified Fire. Lord Jesus. The gospel experience that is certainly dedicated to honoring our God. Don't you know that we have to be fighters for Jesus Christ? Up in here, up in here. Here's sure fortune letting us know that we need to fight for what we believe. You feel I traveled this same road, and all you want is someone to hear your bleeding heart overflowing with tears. I hear you say that nobody knows that you contemplate.
Hallelujah. Just so that you know, God's already got it worked out. I know sometimes it may seem like, where is the end going to come? But if you just hold on to your faith and believe and trust in God, that's what faith walk is all about. You already know. He's got to work out sounds of Tommy's reunion. He's got to work out. You're tuned in to fire. The gospel experience. We ain't worried about nothing. The devil is always trying to plot against us, our ministries, and the things that we do. We move forward in faith. And like Doobie Powell says, sometimes in the process of doing everything that we do for God, we have to do just like Jesus did in the garden. We have to steal away and be with the Lord God and just enjoy his beautiful presence.
Hello, I'm Minister Althea M. Richardson, life coach, podcaster, and founder of Wove Ministries, and you are listening to Fire, the Gospel Experience, where the fire is a moving, uplifting, and unrestrained experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I'm inviting you to contact me for spiritual counseling, mentoring, and encouragement to take control of your life and grow to another level. You can contact me by phone at area code 346-298-3119, on Facebook at Althea, which is A-L-T-H-E-A, M. Richardson, M-A, or Wove, W-O-V-E, Inspiration. You can also email me at W-O-V-E, Inspiration, at gmail.com. God wants you to do all that you can to bring him glory, and I want that for you as well. Until then, keep it tuned in and to fire the gospel experience, which will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Be a blessing to your family, friends, and co-workers by telling them about fire on this station. It's all about kingdom building. God bless. Hallelujah. Don't you know it's all about kingdom building right here? Thank you, Minister Althea M. Richardson, for chiming in right here on Fire, the gospel experience, giving you the very best in spiritual motivations as well as some of the very best anointed gospel music ever made. We are embracing Exodus, the 10th chapter, 21 through 29 verses for the Lord God Almighty is giving us instructions, just like he gave the children of Israel instructions as they were about to go into the fulfillment of their promises. Lord, have mercy. How many times have we stood right in the face of potential promises to be filled? And what did we do? Well, we're going to take a look and see what the children of Israel did. Lord, have mercy because the word of God is filled with so many lessons historically for us to be wise in the judgments that we make today. The word of God says, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go. And the Lord said unto Moses, stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven. And there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days they saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwelling. And Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, Go ye, serve the Lord. Only let your flock and your herds stay. Let your little ones also go with you. And Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Our cattle also shall go with us. There should not go in foot be left behind. For thereof must we take to serve the Lord our God. And we know not what. We must serve the Lord. Until we come thither But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart And he would not let them go And Pharaoh said unto him Take thee from me Take thee to thyself See my face no more For in the day thou seest my face Thou shalt die And Moses said Thou hast spoken well I will see thy face again No more giving you some real life biblical history that we can apply to our lives. We can learn from those people in the Bible what they did and what they didn't do. It's written for our wisdom, for our sanctification, and for our safety and well-being as we traverse the paths of life. We will certainly, unfortunately, encounter some darkness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for leading and guiding us. Here's Ernest J. Lee, because as the Lord guides us, we just want to hear him say one thing. Well done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you. are listening to fire the gospel explosion where the praises are going up and the worries are going away playing for you the best and the newest gospel music on the planet and the most inspiring encouragement under god's heaven keep tuning in and bless your family your friends and your co-workers by telling them about fire 
Hank McCoy. Big the reason you're mine. It always takes time to claim what's already yours. Don't let the devil see your shine. You hold the light, so come on, get with it. Jesus died on the cross, so you can go and get it. Uh, believe that. I receive that. Everything that's for me, I'm going to go and get it. Uh, and what I lost, I'm going to get it back because it's mine. Don't act surprised to realize you're the prize. From the Badlands, city where you can't stand On the block, innocent, get shot by the cops Close watch, for the people, double lurking They seek home, can devour Only way you win is with God's power Suffer the setback, uh, minor layoff Whew. Birth one body to the roof And we took off, gone Jehovah Jireh, victory we sing In the valley, young David running with a sling Ha <laughs> ha Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you have the victory? Well, you do if you applied your faith to trust in the true and only living God. Talking about Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Make no mistake about it. There is no argument, debates when it comes to our Christian faith and religion. We share the truth as we know it through our own experience. It's not just the Bible, just the book. Our lives confirm what that book, that Bible, that precious word of God is talking about. Sounds of Jaffia Mene with victory here on Fire, the Gospel Experience. And before that, we heard from good brother Ernest J. Lee, my homeboy from Michigan, talking about well done. The word of God is true. It's real. We believe it. We receive it. And we are going to exemplify that very word through the life that we are living. We are embracing Exodus 10th chapter 21 through 29. 
and it is a story that needs to be retold again and again and again, talking about the hardness of one man and the consequences of many, many, many that will follow it. You know, we're, we're living in times now when the darkness Talking about the spiritual evil can be felt. It's all around us. All you got to do is pick up the news. All you got to do is turn on your TV. The first thing they bombard us with is the most heinous crime, murder, massacre that they can find. And you can feel the grip of evil and also the fear that attempts to grip us. But the darkness that came upon Pharaoh and Egypt was a result from God exhorting his magnificent power. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days they saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. You hear me? But all the children of Israel had light. Amen. They had light in their dwelling. Now fear and terror of such an awesome display had men, women, and children paralyzed in a stupor for three days, not being able to see and having no mobility at all of their own. And yet the children of Israel had the light of God shining on them amidst all of that encroaching thick darkness all around them. They were unaffected by it because they had relationships with Almighty God. When we're connected with God, The darkness in this world does not affect us, beloved. We are covered by God's holy presence. Amen. What an encouragement to know that in spite of all the chaos, the the heinous crimes that take place in the world that we live in, that we are not afraid, that we are not the ones that will fall prey to all of those evils that are going on around us. Amen. Amen. That should give you a shout of joy. And victory right there. Amen. Listen, we are going to continue to bless you and give you the most anointed gospel music. I have a special guest that's going to be coming up shortly for an encouraging word on Word Up. That's when I invite all of you gifted people of God that have the gift to speak, to exhort, to encourage, to enlighten, to inspire, to come on and be a part of this fire gospel experience and share a word that's going to glorify our God in a beautiful way. And also nourish the listeners with words of encouragement. So if that be you, you and you too, I'm talking to you. Yeah, don't be looking around. I'm talking to you. Why don't you get in touch with me? I'm on Facebook, Ron E. Jefferson. Or you can get in touch with me by email at ronaldjefferson1 at aol.com. If that don't work, there's a fire Facebook page. You can leave me a message. You'll see all of the wonderful music and sermons and upcoming events, conventions, conferences that are going on, possibly in an area near you, because I want you to stay spiritually connected. I want you to collaborate with other kingdom people out there. You go to these conferences, you go to these uh, concerts, and lo and behold, you meet somebody. It wasn't just serendipity. It wasn't just happenstance. It was not a coincidence. No, it was your destiny meeting your purpose. It was the right people at the right time that God had appointed for this thing to happen. Amen? Amen. Listen, you can get in touch with me also by giving me a phone call at 870-413-0222. Two zero, And I promise you, if I don't get right back to you, leave a message and I will get back to you. And we will be kingdom collaborators honoring our God and lifting up the precious and the mighty name of our Jesus. Hallelujah. Giving you more inspiration, giving you the very best in our Lord Jesus. Here's what Jason Parker singing about it. Way better than I can testify and talk about it. And I can do both of them. Real good talking about our Lord. His name is Jesus. When I think about his goodness and what he's done for me. Can't help but give him glory For always blessing me Something about the way he showered me With grace and mercy It's me strange to go on So I wrote it in this song I gotta let you know There's power in the name of Jesus Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh,
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Took you out of church with that one, didn't it? Sounds of New Pearly Gates right here on Fire Gospel Experience. Looking forward to having those awesome men of God coming in with that beautiful, old-school, powerful quartet sound. Just love me some quartet music when they come on. Y'all better be ready because y'all already know I'm going to make that a quartet showcase and play some of the very best quartet gospel music ever made. We take pride in honoring those who labor so hard in the kingdom, especially in that music ministry, especially in that preaching ministry. Wait a minute, especially in that teaching ministry. Wait a minute, hold up, especially in that evangelism ministry. We are one body with many members, but guess what? We're all connected, and everybody has a season. Here's Robin Dunn on Fire the Gospel Experience. Come on, Sister Robin, sing about those seasons. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now, and the good time seems far off, and the happy day seems far off, and the fake smile seems well raw. Uh, trying to bear off all by yourself, right? You know, you can't do it alone. You know, you're gonna need a little help from God, my God, because He always off in my life. I beat them odds, them odds, because He always right by my side. I say, I'm gone, I'm gone, and I'm walking off in this new day. Everyone wanna ride with you when you're riding off in that new way. I need a change, uh, I need a change like two days And know my God will not change even if that change takes a few days uh, Broken up chains, he broken up chains up off me Enemy can't stop me, uh, my God got me See I'm flexing, no more stressing See I'm blessed, see I'm on, see I'm on This my season, watch me walk it, man I'm gone, man I'm gone No more stressing, see I'm blessed, man I'm on, man I'm on it's my season, watch me walk in, man, no Oh, no. it's time to walk into your season Oh, it's time to walk into your season It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time To walk in your season, let go Let go, let go, let go Of your reason that will That will, that will, that will Only in the What's going on, family? What's going on? This is Jerry Rush Live Worldwide, a.k.a. the Batman from Charm City, Maryland, and you're listening to Fire, the Gospel Experience with Ron E. Jefferson, right here on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. I 
If you know God like I know, you better go ahead and give him the glory songs of Shanice Hill Sullivan right here on Fire, the Gospel Experience. Also sending uh, condolences out to Shanice Hill Sullivan's mother, my brand new Facebook friend, uh, letting her know that in her hour of bereavement, in her hour of of loss that we are here for you we bless you we we praise you we we lift you up in prayer we don't want you to feel like you are alone talking about sisters Annetta Reynolds we are praying for you in your time of loss in your time of bereavement you know you have an awesome daughter and Shanice Hill Sullivan being right there for you. And we bless you because this is ministry right here on Fire, the Gospel Experience. We are giving you the very best in gospel music. We want you to know that this is a ministry where we are praying for you while we're lifting lifting up our God and encouraging you in the most holy faith. Don't y'all go nowhere. We have more of this anointed gospel music. Here is my friend, Prophetess Dr. Teresa Graham 
asking the Lord to rescue me. Rescue me, Lord, from that darkness. Rescue me, Lord God, from all of those enemies that are setting snares, traps, and pitfalls for us. But more importantly, as you rescue me from the enemy of men's soul, talking about that that despicable one, Satan the devil, former angel, our angels, Lucifer. Yes, rescue me from him, Lord God, but there's an enemy within me. I need you to rescue me from me sometimes, Lord, and I'll give you praise and honor and glory when you do all of those things.
baby. Yeah. Baby. Where are you? Yeah, about 540. You just passed it, man. It's 519 Corndale Avenue. Nah, that's a church right there. That's yo. it, right there. Nah, I told you I ain't with that church stuff, y'all. I told yeah, you that. Yeah. Baby. I know I'll you. I'll never let you down. I, Trust me. It's most definitely a party. All right, man. I'm turning around. neighbor and tell him something's about to happen. What's the deal, son? I know how you feel. Just keep it real. You can hop inside and we can peel to a spot where there's no VIP. No dress code. No scoring for the cash, yo. Let's go. What's most important is the soul, right? For sure. And that you know you live living for Christ. For sure. Many people always give you dirty looks because you move to tight hooks. It's the same. They felt warm in the pews. You can have a party right here tonight. And you can win your body from left to right Don't worry about nobody You can have a party Get your party on Here tonight You can have a party right here tonight And you can win your body from left to right Don't worry about nobody You can have a party Get your party on Don't worry about nobody You can have a party Get your party on Don't worry about nobody You can have a party Get your party on
Hello, I'm Tierney LaShawn Bledsoe, CEO of Bledsoe Records, speaker and promoter. And you are listening to FIRE, the gospel experience where the fire is a moving, uplifting, and unrestrained experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I am inviting all up-and-coming artists to contact me to take your gift, talent, and ministry to another level. You can contact me by phone at 870-318-6409 or email me at blessedso.promo at gmail.com. God wants you to do all that you can to bring him glory, and I want that for you as well. Until then, keep it tuned in and to fire the gospel experience, which will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Be a blessing to your family, friends, and co-workers by telling them all about fire on this station. It's all about kingdom building. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? That young millennial group right out of Arkansas group 
genuine talking about be ready. That's that millennial group with that old school sound. You know, they was raised just right. Amen. That's beautiful. I just love every bit of that. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Young men of Christ group genuine would be ready. Are you ready? That's the question. I promise you I'm ready. I'm preparing myself every day to be the best that I can possibly be for the Lord Jesus Christ. And yes, I do allow God to come in and make up for the lack that's in me. There are exceptions in each one of us, and we need to pray and ask the Lord to make us better, make us more, give us more of what we need. Don't let us be apprehensive. Don't let us give in to peer pressure, social pressure. Don't bite our tongue when we need to be speaking. Lord God, just help us to be ready. And before that, we heard from spiritual people. So that brother thought he was looking for a party. Yeah, he found a party, all right. He found a Holy Ghost party. Talk about praise on Lord. We are giving you our very best right here on fire, the gospel experience, giving you motivational spiritual words so that you can, once you come down from the dancing and the high praise, you can rest and fall all down on his word to stabilize you and give you that foundation to walk. This Christian walk Because it is a spiritual battle The word of God says And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven And there was a thick darkness In all the land of Egypt Three days Now listen They saw not one another They couldn't see their hand in their face They were bumping each other all the time If they had the nerve to move But most of them were so stuck They didn't move They neither rose any From his place for three days But all the children of Israel Had light in their dwelling And Pharaoh called Unto Moses and say, Go ye serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your herds stay. Let the little ones also go with you. Take them little rascals, he said. I don't want them running around here. And Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto our God. Now, listen, the world will attempt to require some sort of compromise by us. Like, serve God if you choose. If you don't have to give your money to that church, they just a bunch of crooks pimping y'all out of y'all money. Don't they be saying stuff like that? You know that's the truth. But like Moses telling Pharaoh, listen, our cattle also shall go with us. There should not and could be left behind. For thereof must we take to serve the Lord our God. And we know not with what we must serve the Lord until we come thither. That's that King James language saying, we out of here. Now, when we come into a full surrender to God Almighty, we give of ourselves totally. I'm talking about time, talent, and money. The Bible says you can't serve two masters, and it seems like that money is the dividing point that exposes who we really are, who we say we are, because if you love God, money ain't a thing. But if you love money, you're going to pinch and you're going to squirm and you're going to give God that old rusty folded up dollar because you believe that I need this and I can work this out on my own instead of trusting God with your money. Listen, we are investing in God's kingdom while we're here on earth. We do not withhold the good things that God has given us. We count it a blessing, a privilege, and a high honor to be contributed to God's Master Kenny, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Help us, Lord God. We ain't worried about no darkness because you are our light, dear God. You light the way for us. You show us the way. And we are blessed to be called your children. Here's Sherika Lockhart talking about give me more. Give me more light, God, so that I can stand against all this darkness that's around us.
Hello, I'm Will Smith Jr., and you are listening to Fire, the Gospel Experience with Brian E. Jefferson, where the fire is stirring up your soul with biblical inspiration and the very best gospel music. I pray that my music will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Keep it tuned in and bless your family and co-workers by telling them about Fire, on this station is all about kingdom building. Yeah. 
ladies and gentlemen, with Jesus Joy, it gives me great pleasure to introduce my wife to you, the Honorable Bernie Brown Kirby, as she sings, God is good. He has been good, so good to me. He kept me from danger, seen and unseen, and brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. You're tuned in to Fire, the Gospel Experience, give you that good old churchy sound in gospel music. Yes, I play urban, I play contemporary, I play all the up-to-date gospel music, but I will never, never, never stop playing that good old church gospel music sound that I grew up, that traditional church sound, sounds of Bernice Gregory here on Fire, the Gospel Experience, singing about how good the Lord God has been to not only her, 
but to you, you, and you too, if you trust it and put in your ongoing faith. That's the test right there. If you keep on keeping on believing in God, I promise you that seed faith will grow into a beautiful garden that will be a blessing to everyone that God sends your way. Amen and amen. We're still embracing Exodus 10, chapter 21 through 29 verses where we're talking about the children of Israel being in light, talking about being in the light that God provides because he is light, even in the midst of all darkness. Moses told Pharaoh, he said, thou hast spoken well, I will see thy face again no more. Pharaoh refused to recognize God on God's terms and was judged and will be judged eternally by separation from God, which is the second death, agony and torment forever with no relief in sight, none whatsoever. The Bible says the worm dies not means that your guts will be devoured by such a pain from the inside out that it will feel like worms are eating your flesh, your soul, your guts away. And there will be no relief. That's why we pray for the lost and misguided souls with reverence to our God, knowing that but for the grace, mercy, and loving kindness of God in Jesus Christ, our Savior, there go on. Amen. I promise you. Not about being high minded or haughty or lifted up because I can reflect back on so many times where I know it was the grace and the hand of a loving God that kept me from destroying myself with my own ambitious, adventurous waywardness of wanting to fulfill my own will, self will, run them up. And I know I got an amen right there from some of you listening to this broadcast. Amen. So we're grateful to you, God, for all your grace and your mercy and kindness and for giving us and giving us so many more second chances that we don't even count how many chances you've given us. We're just grateful for your extended grace, Lord God, and your mercy. Amen. It goes right there. So now we can do like the sons of faith and just keep walking in my blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you for the light, Lord. Thank you for taking us away from darkness. I need y'all to do me one favor right now. If you know that you're walking in your blessing, I want you to get up right now and make some noise in this building here. I can't hear you. Aren't you glad about it tonight? If you're glad about it, put your hands together just like this for me. If you know that somebody makes a 
Taking that gospel to the street. Yes, Lord Jesus, that's exactly what we need to do. Sounds of Freddie Lopez featuring young disciples here on fire, the gospel experience. Talking about live it. That's what it's all about, live it. And we still on them streets. Here's my girl, Eternal, letting you know that life 
is so much better. Thank you, Father. Thank you for loving me. Thank you. Because you didn't have to. Thank you for waking me up just one more day. I thank you. When I was down, drowned in tears, no longer bound, no longer fear, and now I found my God is here, he says I love you anyway, uh, my dear, in shortcomings we fall, but get up, and give him praise, use the words to set the devil up, I can't let him close our mouth, our father's business is what we about, uh, and live by truth, die by truth, and give a pass to Zeus, cause God we choose, and die to the flesh with our last breath, we live by the spirit, we must pass this test and I, thank you God, I know I didn't deserve it, and you deserve so much better, times when I turn my back, still, Love me anyway. So much better. So much, so, 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 so much better. You deserve so much better, Father. So much, so, so I just want to thank you. So as many times I turn my back, kept my faith, but yet I slack. And when I'm weak, you made me strong. Renew my mind, brought me back home. And that fact never forsaken me. I thank you for my parents for making me, for giving me a testimony so I can help a suicidal friend or family. Yeah, depressed woman, feeling lonely. Or the men that sleep for women for money. The homeless, the stress with less. The hustlers living off the rest and I. Thank you for loving me. Never repay you, but I promise just to use me any kind of way for your glory. I know you deserve so much better. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving me when nobody else did. Thank you for listening when nobody else did. And I know I don't deserve it. But I thank you for staying with me. Thank you. Thank you, God. If it wasn't for you, I don't know where I would be right now. I just give you all the glory and all the honor. Thank you for my children. Thank you for every storm I've been through, good or bad. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my mind. And I just want to thank you. Turn my back. Pretend I didn't hear that voice telling me. I just want to thank you. Thank you for allowing me to live one more day, to breathe one more day, to touch one more person, one more day. I thank you for everything that I've ever done wrong, Lord. Guide me so that I may help quadruple as many people as I help tear down, that I will build them up. I want to thank you. Thank you for loving me.
Yes, Lord, they have a tendency to look at our glory, but don't know our story, Lord Jesus. They don't know the blood, sweat, and tears that came through us for us to be where we are in this beautiful relationship with our God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for seeing us through. Sounds of Reverend Billy Smith with new music on Fire the Gospel Experience, talking about don't judge me. Yes, Lord God, that man of God has his own broadcast. Why don't you go on Facebook and pull up Billy Smith and enjoy this man of God's radio gospel broadcast just like you enjoy this one here too we're not in no competition we are all members together in one body in christ we are all lifting up our god lifting up our lord and savior jesus to christ and yes my girl eternal was putting it down talking about things i got have gotten so much better since i've allowed the lord jesus into my life i want you to know that i love you i'm praying for you there ain't a thing you can do about it except love me back and pray for me as well. Uh, you can always go to uh, bftmpro.com with my girl, Pastor Valana Wilson, and you can pull up so much more gospel music and interviews and My Fire Gospel Archives are being broadcast through that syndicated network as well as my good friend Jerry Royce live over at Positive Power 21 Christian Media. Thank you all for helping me get this ministry out there to the people that need to hear it. They be they saved or unsaved. It's all about letting the Lord Jesus shine in our lives. I will be back with you whenever the Lord give me opportunity. I, I, <laughs> I bless each and every one of you in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. And I leave you with Tamika Moore. And I'm going to take her advice. She said, let it go. So I'm going to tell you the same. Until next time, peace and love. And remember, let it go. It's all good. God got you. Oh.